Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome to Adam McCola TV. This is the Weekly United, the place where we wrap up the week in the world of Manchester United and bring you the latest news, transfer, rumours, everything that is going on at our club. And of course, we've come to you with Manchester United top of the league and on the back of Burnley, Burnley, Burnley! going to Anfield and beating them 1-0 thanks to an Ashley Barnes penalty, ending their incredible, to be fair to them, unbeaten run at Anfield and leave them six points behind Manchester United in the league table as we head into this cup game. Huge cup game. And even though Liverpool are going through this remarkable form, the form, of course, goes out of the window when Manchester United and Liverpool are involved. But, I mean, let's bring up this league table right now there you go look at it it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful now we need City to drop points now how they got those three points against Aston Villa after that goal which was clearly offside if I've ever seen one um, is is beyond me I think if they don't get that goal Villa possibly hold on and get a point and the other game in hand is against Everton I believe so look they could drop points we need them to drop points otherwise we don't stay top um, but it's a good place to be Halfway through the season, 19 games to go, six points ahead of the current champions. It's a good place to be, but it's such a very fragile position as well because, you know, if you lose a couple of games, you can be sixth, seventh before you know it and out of the picture in terms of the top four or five. So it's an incredibly tight league table, an incredibly tight top 10, top eight. Um, but Manchester United top of the pile at the minute and it feels good to be a Manchester United fan and watching that lot crack up Jurgen Klopp crack up chasing Sean Dyche down the tunnel are you mad bro? you want a chinger what are you doing didn't make any sense at all but Wayne Rooney has been talking United up for a title as well so it looks like he's been bitten by the 21 is coming bug. Uh, Wayne Rooney has made a Manchester United title prediction and said he believes we're going to win the league. He said he's believed we're going to win the league for a while. And the players, the likes of Bruno, Pogba, Cavani, he name dropped, are the key players for Manchester United winning this title. And I think they are massive players for us, Pogba, Bruno, Cavani. But I don't think they are the key players for us. Now, it sounds weird. You kind of expect those guys to perform. You expect Pogba, you expect Bruno, you expect um, Edinson Cavani to perform. They're at that age, they, they know what, what it's all about, do you know what I mean? It's these players that I'm going to mention now, which are the key ones for Manchester United. Eric Bailly, Anthony Martial, um, and I also think, uh, you know, when you're looking at Fred, you know, McTominay, Matic, one of those guys stepping up as well, because that six position's key. And I say that because you expect the three that Wayne Rooney mentioned. And of course they're vital. They can win any single game on their own. But they're not going to be able to do it every game. And we need last season's top scorer to step forward. We need Eric Bailly to be fit because we've seen how good of a foil is for um, Harry Maguire. And we've also seen that Victor Lindelof, you know, he has a back problem. He can't play every single game week in, week out. So I think those are the key players. If you keep them fit, I think, you know, us and City could go neck and neck for the title towards the end of the season if Liverpool come back into it as well. Um, but we've got to keep them fit. You'd worry that if if Martial isn't going to, you know, and Greenwood um, isn't going to start kicking in with goals and, you know, your midfielders, Matic is key, I think, that number six as well. But Eric Bailly, if you're not going to have those guys contributing, Bailly's, you know, not fit or Martial his form continues as it is which I don't think it will but if that happens then it's going to be difficult for us to challenge uh, as the season goes on because we need those guys to take the pressure off the other three as well we come to some news about Jesse Lingard now and it's been reported in the MEN that he's been cut from Man United's core squad of 22 players and Ahmad Diallo is soon to be added which is interesting now this may signal that he has got a move lined up we've heard he's been linked with Sheffield United Nice over in France and a few other clubs. Now, I think Jesse's a, a great lad. He's done fantastic things for Manchester United over the years. You look at his form under Mourinho, you look at his contributions to winning the FA Cup, the League Cup, and the Europa League. You know, he played a big part in the trophies that we've won in the post Sir Alex Ferguson era. But under Solskjaer, obviously, he started off pretty well 
Um, his form has had a massive dip. He's obviously had things, you know, go maybe wrong for him off the pitch as well. And it looks like a man that needs a fresh start. And if he's got that move lined up, I hope he goes out and does well. Um, and whether that he comes back and he's part of a Manchester United squad that's, you know, next season or he finds himself a permanent move elsewhere. I think Jesse Lingard's a talented player. I think he has a lot to offer still as well. Um, and, you know, he'll still want to have an England career and things. And I think if he can find a good move for himself, whether it's a loan move or a permanent, um, I think we have to, you know, kind of wish him the best and hope that it can, it can work out for him because um, he's a good lad and he deserves the best um, and he's been a difficult time for him but you know where can you see him getting in into the team at the moment you know Bruno and Pogba and Donny van der Beek all playing in those attacking uh, positions and Donny's not even getting minutes and um, you look in the wider areas now because we've got Cavani you've got Martial who's also going on the left you know you've got Rashford you've got Greenwood you've got all these players Ahmad Diallo now thrown into the mix and maybe this shows that Ahmad Diallo has surprised everybody with his with the, how he's taken to training because it wasn't long ago that we heard that Ali was reluctant to let Lingard go um, because of what it could do to the squad so maybe it shows that Ahmad Diallo has been pretty good as well and he's you know, he could have jumped ahead of Jesse in, in, in Ali's pecking order. And it could mean that Jesse's even more um, keen to get a move away. But if he does get a move, I hope he gets a good one. And I wish him nothing but the best. And when fans are back, I'll probably be going off to watch him in a game as well. Because I like Jess, good lad. Another man that could be moving and on loan as well is Facundo Pellistri. Now, it's been reported uh, in the MEN. The Man United are open to loan in Facundo Pellistri as part of the next phase of his development. Um, and he's been linked with La Liga sides as well. Uh, I think Real Sociedad were a name that were chucked about. Um, and that could be a big move for him, you know. Get some regular football, get some regular first team minutes. Uh, he's probably not going to get that at Manchester United. And if Ali seen Ahmad Diallo and thought, yo, he's impressed me more than him so far, Facundo probably needs to be developed a little bit. Let's send him away and let's maybe integrate Ahmad Diallo immediately into the squad. You know, it could be a vital part of his development because he'll need first team minutes and you know he's he's played in the other 23s he scored in his first couple of games i think he was scored in his first three games he's probably thinking he's too good for that level he's not going to get minutes for me let's get him some first team football so let's keep an eye on that one eh Solskjaer has had the press conference ahead of that game against uh liverpool as well um and he's been talking about how you know it's important to get your hands on a trophy but also the league position is a true measure of where we are. But whilst I think he will make some changes, I still think this game is vitally important. Obviously, if we get knocked out, you know, it shouldn't have an impact on your on your league form negatively. But if you win this game, you know, the momentum that that can build for you, the positivity that that can build for you, and it's on 1999, on the same day, the 24th of January, we beat Liverpool 2-1. Oli and Yorkie scoring after Michael Owen scored after a couple of minutes. You know, we scored in the last couple of minutes ourselves. Those two goals. And that set the tone for the rest of the season. So Oli will know how important it is that we, we, we go into this game and take it seriously. And how, you know, massive things could be for our momentum as well. Beating the current champions who are six points below us. Knocking them out of the cup. That could be great. I still expect, you know, maybe Donny van der Beek, Alex Tellez us to make changes but what have we been talking about there's depth in that Manchester United team there's absolute depth in that Manchester United team and it's part of the reason as well I think and we'll discuss it in the in the preview which is coming up on Saturday on Adam McCullough TV for that game uh, it's why I think you know Martial it's probably the time that you drop him to the bench for a little bit not been scoring take the pressure off him a little bit um, put Cavani in there and lay down the gauntlet, you know, you're going to have to fight back for your spot in the team. We've seen how the competition has improved the likes of Luke Shaw. We've seen how the competition has improved those in the midfield area, Paul Pogba, Fred McTominay, etc. You know, Martial, I have no doubts that he'll get back to scoring ways and he'll be a vital player for Manchester United. He was our Players' Player of the Year last year, 24 goals, top goal scorer, only one of them being a penalty. He will get back in the goals, but maybe playing him on the left, you know where he's people are still judging him by his goals you're playing him on the left he's out of form maybe just 
you know, stick him on the bench, swap him in for Cavani every now and then and make it a battle between them two because Cavani will be up for it and I'm sure Martial, you know, he'll respond to that battle as well and we'll have a good fight on our hands and Ali knows what that competition for places can do to a team that's battling for trophies. So a big weekend coming up for Manchester United. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below as well on everything that we have discussed. Uh, Martial Cavani, the FA Cup, the league, what's the importance of both Facundo Palistri, Amad Diallo, Jesse Lingard, Wazza's predictions about Manchester United and of course the league title race as it heats up. Although it takes a little bit of a break until next midweek. Until then, guys, and next week, and well, I'll be back with daily content here at Adam McCola TV. Make sure you're subscribing. But until next time, I've been Adam McCola. I'm out of here.